Now let's talk about another script to delete old files. Now this is a definite script that everyone might have experienced or will be experiencing it if you are becoming a system administrator or becoming a Linux uh, or taking over a Linux job. So you have a system and um, as you know, this, when you build a system, um, so many people log in, so many program runs, so many logs get created. As a system ages, over time, it creates a lot of files. When a lot of files are created, there is uh, no mechanism inside unless you um, enable a couple of other services to delete older files. So what happens if you don't delete those old files? Well, it will fill up your disk space. And once the disk space is full, your system will become unresponsive. So it is very important for all the system engineers or administrators to actually keep an eye on all the old files and, and that are no longer in use. So in this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to create a script uh, from scratch that will delete all the files for a specified number of days or years or whichever that is being specified in the script. And what are we going to do actually? First, we're going to create files with all the timestamp. Because in my system, my system is uh, fairly new. And most likely, the system you are working on is also new. So maybe you don't have older files. So you would have to create files with the older timestamp. So we could try out our newer script. Then we're going to find and delete those files that are older than 90 days. Um, why pick 90 days? It doesn't really matter. You could pick 100 days, 80 days, whichever days that you like. But in a, a general standard is that uh, most of the time people want to get rid of all the files older than three months. And then we're going to find another way or another script um, which will find and rename all files. So if instead of deleting it, what you could do is you could find all the files, let's say older than 90 days, and instead of deleting it, how can we just rename it and rename it like uh, .old or .archive or whatever that you want to rename. So you need a script for that too. So these are, these are the type of scripts that we'll work on in this lesson. Um, I will go straight into my Linux machine. Okay, I have it open through my putty session. I am logged in as myself and I am in home IFSOL PS directory. PS directory is something that I previously created, stands for professional scripts. Anyway, you could pick any directory as I mentioned um, earlier. So now we are in this directory and when you do ls minus ltr you'll notice that i do not have any file older than august 27th which is not three months old so for me to test my script on older files i would have to create some files that will with all the timestamps well can you do it yes you could do it um, you could do it with a touch command and um, the format for for that is touch with minus D option and you specify the time, uh, let's say Thursday, um, Thursday, um, comma, 1st, March 2018, 1230 AM. And create a file call, let's call it um, A. Okay, so now the file is created. Let's verify it if it is if it is created with the older timestamp. <clears throat> yes, you see I did ls minus ltr and this option with ls minus ltr, it will give me all my files in the timely order. So the, uh, the most recent one is created at the bottom and the oldest one is at the top. So if you see at the top one is this one, it is created on March 1st. Um, so March 1st is a, a lot older. I created that. So now I want to create, uh, just like that, I want to create other files as well. So I'll create B, I'll create C, I'll create D, I'll create four files. So this way, when I run the script, it will um, find all these commands, uh, all these files, and execute it. Now let's create our script to delete it. So first thing is... 
to find it, first of all, um, every time you need to create a script, it's better that you run that command so it will work in the script. So do find um, path to where you're finding it. So I'm going to find it in this path, which is right here. So find in this path with time, modify time, plus 90. And then once it finds them, then what do you want to do? You want to execute a command. And I just wanted to see the listing of it. So I'll do ls minus l uh, off what returns. And what is returned is specified with curly braces. Open curly braces. Close, space, backslash, and colon. This is just a, a standard way to find files. It's not something fancy that is only written in script. It's just a simple command. Even you search online, you will find the exact same commands. So once I run this command, you will see I will find all the files that are created three months ago. And you see it found four files, right? Perfect. So now I will create a script that will do exactly the same thing and I don't have to actually run it manually. I'll just cron tap that job and it will run on a, um, um, on a schedule basis. So um, if I do VI and I will put um, um, delete old files. This is the name of my script. I will hit enter. And you know here what you need to do is bin bash and the author Imran Efsel date 08-08-2020. Description, very important. This script will delete older than oh, delete files older than 90 days perfect modified do we need to worry about it not really at this time because we're creating for the first time okay perfect now this is the description and the, um, the shelf is defined I'm gonna right click which I copied that same exact file earlier and now just save it Give executable permission to my script, um, which is delete all files. Let's check. Yes, the file is there. Now, when I run it, delete all file, and you'll see it is giving me all the old files. Now, I want to delete them. So, to delete them, you vi the, uh, the script again, and instead of execute ls, you just do rm delete those files that are returned. So now when I run it, delete all files, and it gave me my prompt back, it means it ran. So when you do ls minus ltr, you'll see all those files that I had earlier, a, b, c, d, e, all of them are gone, right? So that's how you create a script that will delete all files. Now, what if you just wanted to rename it? Let's try the same script. And this time, I'm just going to say move, delete all files to rename all files. So now I, it has renamed, so I'm going to change it to rename all files. And this time what I'm going to do is I want, once that those files are found, I want to move whatever is returned to return name dot old so this is going to find and move whatever it find to the name of the find with dot old extension you copy and paste now I first before I run it I want to create those files that I created earlier so I'm gonna hit up arrow key because up arrow key remembers all the commands that I ran previously okay so this is the one D C B and A. Let's verify it. Let's do LS minus L T R and you'll see all the files are there. Now when I run this 
updated script, it should update the name of these files from D to D.old, C.old, B.old, and A.old. Let's do run, rename all files. And it ran. Let's verify it. You see? A, B, C, D, dot, old. So this is about the script. Um, again, it's an everyday script that you're going to be using it. It's a real-life example script. You need to know that. You need to know how to delete old files or rename it or whatever that you're trying to do with the files. It will do it for you. So try it out yourself. I am going to include the uh, instructions that we just followed in the lecture's um, text uh, in the same lesson. You'll find it. You could copy-paste or you could start from scratch.